thing for your supper. I'm Mara Norris and today I'm going to show you how to make a great vegetarian chili. So Christmas just passed and I got a little bit busy so I wasn't really able to make any videos but I'm preparing now for my New Year's Eve party and you know everyone's drinking a little bit at New Year's Eve so I want to make sure everyone has something nice and filling on their stomachs. So if you can see here I'm using a combination of uh, big red pinto beans and small red pinto beans and black beans and um, so I'm going to soak my own beans and actually boil them with just a few flavoring ingredients just to make sure that the beans themselves have a nice flavor to them. Now you can use canned beans if you'd like but I think this is a lot more flavorful and it's actually a lot more economical as well. So I will be using onions in the chili so I'm going to use the onion ends and onion peel to flavor the beans just using those extra ingredients that we would just normally throw away and instead getting our money's worth and having them do double duty. So I'm going to throw those onion ends right in the pot and I'm going to throw just a couple of cloves of garlic. Uh, these are about four big old cloves of garlic and you don't have to worry about peeling them or anything because they're not going in the actual chili. They're just flavoring the beans. Alright, get those in there. And I have my pot nearly covered with water and I'm going to let those just boil and get nice and soft and I'm going to add my salt later on so they don't get too salty while they're boiling. Okay, so my beans got nice and soft and I added in um, a big can, a big number 10 can of crushed tomatoes. I also added in some salt, um, about one big chopped onion and probably about six cloves of chopped garlic. And I added in some chili powder, probably wound up being about hmm, uh, at least a half a cup. It's a lot of chili, so it needs a lot of chili powder. Okay, now for my secret ingredients, I'm going to put in, this is half of a big beer, but just put in one dark beer. Um, I usually use stout, but I needed some more beer for another recipe, so I'm just going to use this ale and give that a nice stir. Make sure that's all incorporated. Ooh, that smells great. Okay, my other secret ingredient is maple syrup. I think it just gives it a nice sweet note and a very rich flavor. It's so good. Alright, just make sure that's all stirred together and it's just going to simmer for about an hour or so. Make sure that those onions are nice and soft. I didn't saute them beforehand. I just threw them right in. So they're actually going to cook in the mixture. 